Hey, it's India Michelle here, back with another car video. You're gonna be having a see, well, seeing a lot of car videos with me. Sorry for the shaking, because I'm driving. Um, because I'm moving soon, so my room is kind of full of boxes and suitcases and all that stuff. And I just sometimes I just don't feel like setting up and all that. But I'm gonna still give you content, okay? So while I'm over here looking like the WNBA stud over here, um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell so you can be notified every time I drop a video. And don't forget to follow my socials at India underscore underscore Michelle on Snapchat and Instagram. And like, like this video, like I said, I should not be having 200 views but only five likes like no run them likes up for me thank you or dislike it who cares but as you see the title of the video you know ladies and men this is not just for one but even i'm talking to the ladies i'm it's for both so ladies this is a reason why fellas don't want to wipe you up and why they only look at you for sex you could be a cool female right somebody you can chop it up with laugh with all that good stuff but when y'all talk you ever notice that when y'all have certain conversations he doesn't never have like grown conversations with you it's always sexual conversations with you that should tell you something that that's only that's how he looks at how he looks at you he doesn't look at you as an equal he looks at you as someone if, if inferior to him right now some people may look at that as oh well that's a flaw in the man that could be right but for the sake of this video we're talking about you if you are a if you are a woman who and people don't believe it, especially when you're young but if you are a, a girl a woman who constantly um, are having are, are posing a certain way in her pictures it's all right every now and then you show a little thigh you show a little side pick up a uh, booty pic you know but it's classy in a way you know but when you're somewhere taking pictures and you bent over or all your pictures is ass pictures or all your pictures are you showing your breasts you having revealing dresses when you going out he gonna look at you like a bust down He's not going to really have respect for you because you don't have respect for yourself. It's one thing you're doing it for your man or if you lounging around the house. But if you're doing this on social media and in, especially in public, don't get mad if a guy is approaching you in a sexual manner. He's not approaching you as a young woman. He's approaching you like, oh, okay, like a straight up hoe, like a straight up bust down. If you don't come off like a woman who is um, trying to grow with the man, you always, for self, he's going to treat you like a bust down. Like, oh, okay, she only just for herself. She just for the moment. She's not thinking long term. She's thinking of today and not tomorrow or five years, 10 years, 20 years from now. She just trying to see uh, who can get her in the club and stuff like that. He's going to treat you like a bust down. Now, with that being said, fellas, y'all always say, oh, she a bust down, she a bust down. How can I really get with somebody that's legit? Stop entertaining women or looking at women who are considered bust downs as wifey material. Okay? Just because your favorite rapper has dated a stripper, that don't mean you should those women are different types of women they're not on the same scale as a woman as an everyday chick that's an, and that's also back to the females y'all try to compare yourself to these ig influencers but y'all not on the same level as them of course they can get a a, a high uh i don't want to say high value but a high value or a popping rapper because they are in that type of industry but when you are regular everyday girl a everyday guy is not gonna want to deal with that you know what i'm saying but back to the guys y'all try to wife up these uh these type of chicks and be complaining about 
oh well she's this she's that but you knew what it was when you before you even stuck your penis in her right so what with that being said only vet certain women who have something to talk about with their conversations y'all can have actual deep conversations she she has goals with herself she's not just doing the typical um bullshit you know day-to-day -day stuff with her life where she just every day she's in somebody's lounge club at a brunch that's cool sometimes but damn how are can you step away from being in the scene and actually handle business you know what i'm saying when she talks about relationships she's she's saying it in a way where oh well guy again like i said a guy always has to benefit me it's never a, a us thing when it comes to kids let's say she has a child right or y'all have a child together she always dumping them off at the grandma house or at her mom's house and you know she's never nurturing or even nurturing to you she when it's your birthday she doing stuff that that she likes not what you like okay when she sees it, when it's an issue in the relationship and let's say she caused it she's always blaming you instead of taking accountability and again fellas sometimes i don't you know i don't feel sorry to you all the time because again this is what you allow this and when i and that statement alone goes both ways what you allow what you go into a relationship is how you end in a relationship if you go into a relationship and she's this and she's kind of loose and stuff like that don't expect her to be the woman that you wish she was like for instance jocelyn i was watching the, uh this was season two of her jocelyn cabaret right before she the show really plumped down and it just i just couldn't watch it no more but she had made a comment and her dude was like well what you doing you dressing like this and you in the in the tub with cameras rolling your titties out and whoop de whoop and she made a comment like you know you knew what it was when you got with me so don't try to act and try to make me be a woman that i'm not now and that's a lot of men today like y'all try to make these women be a certain type of way when that's not who she is the same thing with uh, females if you're dating a guy he's always out going out to the club don't expect him to be a a guy who only goes out sometimes and he's wanting to take care of home and stuff like that so just be mindful how you move in your relationship ladies be mindful what you say and uh and certain things that you share because sometimes ladies y'all try to be an open book too soon y'all try to spill out certain uh things in your past that might be a little jaded because everybody has a past to a certain degree nobody's perfect so if you try to get in the comments trying to make it seem like you you know holier than thou go on somewhere with that shit but be mindful what you say be mindful what you post i know sometimes you want to be on your bald head whole shit but if you're looking for something long term you're gonna have to dial that back be a slut, be a hoe for your man. I ain't saying you gotta be born and shit in the bedroom, but be classy out, like like they said, she's a, uh, she's classy, uh, I'm messing up the whole uh, old ass term. She's a lady in the streets, but a freak in the sheets. That's real. That's how men want their women. You know what I'm saying? Be submissive. That doesn't mean be a slave, but learn how to listen, learn how to be peaceful in your relationship. Don't be that chick where you always just want to constantly argue with a dude just, just for the sake of arguing. That's annoying as hell. Being a toxic chick, that's cute when you're young. But as you get older, you notice the phone don't ring like it used to. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end it right there. And until next time with another video. Bye-bye.